je peux vous le rendre, Seigneur, Seigneur, car avec les soldats, il est heureux, avec son tendre, pour plaisir, pour plaisir, ils ont les combats. Le cirque est plein ce jour de fête, le cirque est plein d'automates. Le spectateur est dans la tête, le spectateur s'est en bel après fracasse. Hey folks, it's Greg here for GS Verbine. Now I promised a cooking video of some time ago, in fact one year ago, but I got caught up, you know, life happens. But I'm back again and I'm going to do a little preparation for hot pot, or as they say in Chinese, ho go. And I have my ingredients here and in a moment I'm going to start prepping and give you an idea how simple this dish is to prepare. But let me put something on because I don't want to dirty my clean shirt and I'll be back. Okay so I have some uh, Chinese vegetables here and I'm just going to prepare these by removing some of that hard skin on it. You know this dish is so simple I mean basically what are you doing is with hot pot is you're basically boiling vegetables and meat. I mean from a cooking point of view that's really all you're doing. So once you prepare your vegetable um, the question is what sauce do you want? What base? What soup base? Not sauce really, soup base you want to use for your hot pot and um, that's the flavor that you'd have uh, during your hot pot session. So you prepare your vegetables as considerably as you can. You don't want your guest or the people that you're cooking for to have to do a lot of work. So you want to cut things up nice and small and some of this vegetable should be in the soup base so it gives a different flavor. So if you have a soup base that's based on say fish, you'd want to have some vegetable within the, the, the soup base so that you have not just fish but fish and vegetable taste. And of course you can put some um, spices in there with it, but we'll get to that shortly. So I'm going to just prepare these uh, vegetables and um, I'll show you as I turn everything out. Okay, so now you can take your time and cut your vegetables up. You're not working at a restaurant, so you don't have a time schedule. Nobody's waiting at a table for you. But if you do want to get a little chefy, you can, I'll teach you a simple trick. You take the knife, you bend your fingers, Put them against the vegetable, take the thumb and put it at the back of the vegetable and use your knife to go down onto the vegetable at a rate that you can move your fingers back, so like this. That's basically what you want to do. And in between that movement, you're bringing the knife up and down, like this. If you want to be a little chefy, you don't need to do that. Okay. Votre toast, je peux vous le rendre, Seigneur, Seigneur, car avec les soldats, il est heureux, avec son tendre, pour plaisir, pour plaisir, ils ont les combats. Le cirque est plein ce jour de fête, le cirque est plein d'automates. Le spectateur est dans la tête, le spectateur s'est en peur après fracas. Apostrophe, tu sais ta page, pour le sait jusqu'à ce lacurin. Passez le fête du courage, c'est la fête du syndicat. Allons, à garde. Hello, hello, ah, stripped tofu. Or shredded tofu.
So today I'm going to have some salmon. Usually I have a whole fish, but everybody wants salmon today, so it's salmon. So basically I just slice these salmon pieces into small edible pieces. Like this. You now hot pot is a, a lot about uh, concentration of the uh, the vocal, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> the visual. <laughs> And so therefore, you want to make things look nice. So just get creative. Cut it in any style you want. But just make sure that it's uh, bite-sized pieces so that people don't have to have difficulty eating. OK, so the meats come in packages that looks like this. And basically, I don't do much with it. I pretty much just take it out of the, the packaging and I serve it right out of the right out of the packaging like this because there's not much to do with it. You're going to put it into hot boiling soup, and um, that's it. So today I'm having lamb and pork. If you don't eat pork. You can have beef, and if you don't have like beef, or you, you know, you can't eat beef. You can have chicken. You get the point. Okay, so pretty much we're almost there, and so I make a soup base. This one is already prepared, and it's a mushroom flavor hot pot seasoning for the water. I'm going to fill this pot with two sides. In this side, I'll have mushroom, and on this side, I'm going to make a, my own flavor. It's a Korean soup base that I make, and it comprises of salted shrimp, anchovies, dried anchovies, and the salted seaweed. I just wash it a little bit just to get some of that excess salt out, and then I put it into this pot on one side, fill it with water, and let it rip. And that's pretty much the soup base. So let's do that. Tout d'un coup, on fait silence, on fait silence. A casse passe t Le décrissant, le décrissant, le taureau s'élance en bandissant, à dit rire, il s'élance, il entre frappe, en chevelure, en traînant en pique d'or. A bravo taureau, il est le poule, le taureau va, il vient, il vient. Well, folks, that's it. We have uh, a soup base boiling away. Uh, everything is cut up and ready to go. And it's as simple as that. Now, I cook these foods because I like this. This is what I eat. Not this every day, but I like this style of food. You can choose anything you want because it's your taste. So you don't have to do exactly what I did, but all you have to do is prepare vegetables and meat if you like meat, or just all vegetables. I have some rice cooking because I like rice. And create a soup base that you like in any pot. I just happen to have this pot because I went to Japan, I saw this item and I liked it. You don't have to use something like this. Use whatever you have. Create a soup base with a simple set of uh, a selection of vegetables and meat for your taste. And there you have it. 
every society seemed to have some dish like this. Shabu shabu in Japan, hobo in China, hot pot in Korea. Uh, just about every uh, culture seemed to have a dish like this. Why? Because it's very simple. And if you're traveling and you're in need of some comfort food, what better food and easily prepared dish than this? So there's always a good option, always something that you can do. Remember, be safe, stay active, enjoy your life. See you next time.